Did you know that Google Chrome allows you to create your very own search engine? This and a whole bunch of settings that you may or may not know on this video. Let's do it. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to without all this geek stuff, Consider hitting that subscribe button and let's get on to some hidden tips and tricks on the Google Chrome. Right, we all know whatever you type into your URL search bar will actually search your search engine as well. Right click on that, edit search engine and here are all the search engines that you've currently got set up and a whole bunch more. But what you can actually do is you can set up your own. I like to search my Google Drive, so I'm going to go into Google Drive, type in a search query like hello, and all I want to do is I want to get this URL line and I want to make a copy of it. So control C if you've got a Windows machine, go back into your search engines and now we're going to click on add. What we're going to do is we give it a name. Now this name could be absolutely anything. This is just for you to remember it. So G drive is fine or you could put in like, I don't know, Google drive. That's also cool. Here's the important one. This is the keyword. So I'm going to put in G drive and I'm going to paste that URL. But you see where I did, where I had the kind of little thing hello, I'm replacing it with a percentage S, which is basically the placeholder. How does that work now? I'm going to open up a new window and I'm going to put in that keyword, which was G drive tab. And I can put in any search query that I want and it will go ahead and search my Google drive. Cool, right? All from one location. And the same thing can apply for things like my Google Calendar. So go into Google Calendar, type in exactly the same thing. This time I'm going to use the word test, copy the URL line, click on add, give it a name. This time I'm going to put in, I don't know, Google Calendar or it's Google Cal, anything you want. But this is my keyword. I'm going to use GCal. So I've got G Drive and then GCal. Paste in the URL that I've just copied, remove my test query and replace it with percentage S click on add. Now all I'm going to do is type in gcal space and then basically put in anything I want and it will search my Google Calendar. If you've added one by mistake simply click on the three little dots and click on remove. The cool thing is you can have the same process for any website that allows you to do a search query. Yep it's all about convenience and speaking of convenience using the shortcuts is actually pretty cool as well. I think a lot of us just underutilize this. So here we go, I'm gonna open up three tabs as an example. I've got the blog, I've got Twitter, I've got YouTube. When you press control one, control two, control three, it cycles between the three tabs, goes all the way up to eight. Now, if you've got lots more tabs, when you can press control nine, it will simply take you to the very last tab. Now, I'm sure you also download a whole bunch of stuff from the web and maybe you forget where you downloaded or what was the file name. Press Ctrl J brings out the history of your downloads and you can simply go and find it. Now there are many, many, many controls and keyboards, shortcuts that you could use for the Windows and for the Mac. I'll have a link in the description. Go check it out. Find the ones that you use repeatedly and you'll see what a difference this makes. Another cool way to declutter your Chrome browser is by pinning and unpinning. Here's what I mean. See how the tabs are stretching all the way across the top here? I can right click, click on pin and it takes a little icon to the very, very front. Do the same for all the tabs that you have open. Let me do another one. Click, right click, pin. There we go. Nice three little icons in the top left hand side and leaves my toolbar to be open. Now the shortcuts still work. Control one, control two, control three. So everything is nice and neatly accessible and it doesn't stretch all the way across. And of course, by the icon, you can tell what website it is. Right click on it again, unpin and it brings back to normal. Over time, Chrome can become a little bit sluggish, a little bit laggy. Maybe you have too many extensions, too many plugins into this, and it can slow it down. Press Shift and Escape, it will bring up a Chrome-only task manager. Here, you can expand it, you can sort it by processes, CPU, whatever's taking up issues, and then simply click on it, and then click on End Process. Then you can, of course, go ahead and uninstall whatever's causing the bugginess or the lagginess to happen. So we know that Chrome remembers everything you typed into your search. Now this is cool, but it can also have a little bit of an issue. Like I like to go into Google Drive, but if I type in Dribble, for example, next time I type in DR, well, guess what comes up? Dribble and Google Drives. Now I've got to click on it. What I can do is press Shift Delete, get rid of the, the ones that I didn't want, like the Dribble. And next time I'm going to type in DR. 
Guess what? Drive comes back up again. So get rid of the autocomplete you don't need. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know if I missed out anything that you think we all should know. Let us know in that comments below. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the hit below to subscribe. We'll love to have you here in the future videos. Check out some of these other cool videos down here. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in those videos.